Hello, my name is Julius Eggebrecht and I have the honor to present the poster Assessing the real-world effectiveness of ocrelizumab in patients with multiple sclerosis, confidence, one-year interim analysis. You can find the other authors along with their disclosures. So, confidence is a non-interventional post-authorization safety study collecting real-world safety and effectiveness data for up to 10 years for people with MS newly treated with orculizumab and other selected disease-modifying therapies. And here I present the results of an interim analysis of effectiveness data from patients treated with orculizumab. In short, Confidence aims to enroll 3,000 patients with RMS or PPMS newly treated with ocrelizumab and 1,500 patients newly treated with other selected disease-modifying therapies. The study visits are documented approximately every six months. And this analysis included patients with one baseline visits and two follow-up visits, so approximately one year of treatment. The effectiveness was assessed in this analysis using these methods. So, patients with RMS were an average younger and had a longer time since first MS symptoms. Um, and since MS diagnosis in patients with PPMS, the most patients with RMS had at least one prior disease modifying therapy. One third of patients with PPMS had a prior disease modifying therapy. Patients with PPMS had a higher baseline EDSS score than patients with RMS, and more in-depth baseline characteristics are presented in the confidence safety poster at this Congress. Overall, 85% of RMS patients and 98% of PPMS patients treated with ocrelizumab remained relapse-free over one year of treatment. And as you can see, the EDSS remained largely constant over one year. 5.1% um, of patients with RMS and 2.3% of patients with PPMS experienced confirmed disability improvement, while 2.3% of patients with RMS and 5.7% of patients with PPMS experienced confirmed disability progression. On the right-hand side, you can see that the majority of patients experienced treatment success. Over one year of treatment, the physical and psychological impact of MS, as reported by the EMSIS 29 uh, score, remained constant. All in all, confidence represents a real-world cohort of MS patients. At baseline, patients with RMS and PPMS and confidence were on average 7 and 8 years older, respectively, than those in the pivotal trials. Patients with RMS had higher, while patients with PPMS had slightly lower mean baseline EDSS scores than patients in the pivotal trials. However, the EDSS and the EMSIS-29 remained constant over the first year of orculizumab treatment, and the majority of patients in this analysis experienced treatment success. Please find safety outcomes presented separately at this Congress. At this point, I would like to thank everybody who has contributed to the study. And thanks a lot for your attention and have a good time at the ECF meeting.